In this video, we will solve problem 2.10, which is a spring mass system, and we will find the natural frequency. This is a example of the textbook Mechanical Vibration from Rao 6 edition. So we have a loaded mine cart weighing 5,000 pounds, and it's lifted by a frictionless pulley and a steel wire rope of 0 0.05 inches. We like to find the natural frequency of the vibration in the given position. First things we do is look up in the charge what is the properties of steel and we find that it's 20. We can take it the young models as 30 times 10 to the 6 pounds per inch square. And we have a circular rope and we can find also in the tables that because of the deflection, the, the equivalent constant for a spring of this type will be the area, the Young modulus divided by the length. So here we have two ropes. So let's get a mechanical system that represents our model. We can say that we have a slope, a mass. The slope is 50 degrees and we have two springs. Each of the ropes is representing a spring. So this is K2 and this is K1. For K1 we have that is the cross-sectional area 1, the young models divided by the length 1. Both ropes have a diameter of 0 0.05 inches. So the Area will be pi r squared, the young modulus of the steel, and the length. And in this case, we see that it's 25 feet. But of course, we want to put everything in the same uh, unit. So we will write 0 0.05 half squared times 30 times to the 6 divided by 25 times 12 inches. We calculate K1 and I get a value for 163.625 pounds per inch. And then I have K2 very similarly. I have pi r squared I, and here I have 30 feet, but I will convert that to inches. So it gets 0 0.05 divided by 2 to get the radius. 30 times to the 6 divided by 30 times 12. K2 gives me a value of 196, 35 pounds per inch. We do our free body diagram. We draw our mass. We will have the force of the spring 1 which is K1 times X, and we have the force of the spring 2, which is K2 times X. We have our weight, and we have the normal force. This angle over here is the same angle as the inclination. First thing I will do a static analysis just to understand what happened with the weight in a vibration analysis. A static analysis, we have that the two forces of the spring times the static deflection plus the weight in the direction. Let's create our coordinate system X, Y, and I'm adding forces in the X direction. This is going to be zero because it's a static analysis. Right here we see that K1 plus K2 times the static deflection is equal to the contribution of the weight. When we do the dynamics analysis, we'll measure X from the static equilibrium position. Therefore, if I add forces in that X direction, I will have the forces of the spring and I have the static deflation plus X plus the weight. And now this is equals to mass times acceleration. But 
since we did this static analysis, we can cancel out the static deflation with the weight. Therefore, my equation of motion will be equals to the mass time acceleration plus the contribution of the forces of the spring. And this is the equation of motion that describes the behavior of the system. The natural frequency will be the square root of the k equivalent divided by the mass. In this case, will be k1 plus k2 divided by the mass. We have the mass of the system, so I will write here the two constant of the spring that we calculated divided by 5,000 divided by 36.4 to convert that to slot. Finally, we get that the natural frequency of the system is 5.27 radians over second. And this is the natural frequency of my system.